baby, I'm gonna teach you what life's all about to Trust me, honey, everything's gonna be all right. Just to put your arms around me real tight. Enjoy yourself, baby, don't cry. All you gotta do is just to let yourself go. I said, let yourself go right now. Ooh, let yourself go right now. All you gotta do is just to let yourself go. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Let me tell you something. I don't know how in the world I ended up doing what I do. But I will tell you the coolest part of it is when you're out doing something like that and singing and you do that and the band just cuts off bumming that. It's just the coolest, like, to do that is the coolest thing in the world. Because if you sing along with Elvis on the records, sometimes he doesn't cut off when I do. And I was like, well, he wasn't ready yet. And then sometimes I do it after he does and I'm thinking, well, Elvis, I really wasn't ready yet, but we're going to go with you. Oh my goodness, my name's Tupelo Tom. Welcome to our Friday night show, and we are truly going back to the 70s. The 1970s. Oh my goodness. Listen, folks, I was around during that decade, getting in way too much trouble. Now, I know it's going to be hard for some of the younger people to, to understand, and by younger, I mean like people in their 40s and younger. Um, there were days, nay, months at a time. Every morning I would wake up at home, I would get on my bicycle, and I would ride, ride, ride. And I was gone all day long, all across Tupelo. I had friends that lived all over town. I would stop, knock on their door, and say, hi, Mrs. Robbins, can I use your bathroom? And yeah, just go ahead. My parents had no idea where I was. I thought, later how amazing and outstanding that was that they trusted me, but what I found out was they really didn't care. <laughs> you know. But in those days, you could live your life like that. Everything was, well, s safer. Um, and we were out of touch. Our parents trusted us, and we learned things, and we experienced things, and we went to the record store because we waited until that day when that record came out and you went to the record store and you bought it and you rode your bicycle home and you stopped to get a Charms Blow Pop and you went in and you sat down. And that was my tradition. I always got a Charms Blow Pop the day I would go get an Elvis record. And I would put it on and I would put the headphones on and I would just look at his picture. And I would play and I would look at that record turning around. And now I get to do this. That's the power of Elvis. Eventually, what you love and who you love cross together. And you get to do things like be in a band like that or to be an Elvis tribute artist. But the 1970s, that didn't exist because we had the man. We had Elvis. We also had President Nixon, but still. And then we had Jimmy Carter. So, not a great decade in politics, you know? But here's the thing. I never knew or cared how my neighbor voted. I didn't care anything about my neighbor. I wish my neighbor would have not across the street, you know? But they did sometimes. But the 1970s, we had deep pile carpet. Elvis had it on the ceiling, because, you know, that was Elvis. Dad never went for that when I brought that up. But in the 1970s, we had cool clothes. Clothes so cool that the young people today are wearing those retro fashions, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Paisley shirt man. I've got my pink Paisley on now. The 1970s, our bell bottoms, a good pair of bell bottoms. You couldn't see your foot, right? That was the good kind. Even the guys had heels like this, right? There were guys that had heels like that, not just me, right? Okay, okay. But let me tell you something. In about 1976, I got a job at my hometown movie theater, beginning my career in showbiz, and I would show movies. And that decade of the 1970s, we had some of the coolest movies. There was a summer 
that we showed Star Wars and Smokey and the Bandit and Annie Hall. And then John Travolta, who was that guy on Welcome Back, Cotter. He started making movies and I thought, the guy that talks like this is gonna make movies? Yeah, he made a few. Grease, Urban Cowboy, and a movie we're about to pay tribute to because of the music of that. Now, the band, the Bee Gees, they were around way before Saturday Night Fever. They went back to the 60s starting their career. Brothers whose voices harmonized together like no one else. But in the 1970s, starting with all their hit records before Saturday Night Fever, they changed music. We're gonna take you back to that time now. We've grouped all those songs, all those incredible songs of the vocals of the Bee Gees together with a group from Orlando, Florida, around that area. They are called, you ready to go back to the 70s? All right, we're gonna go back in the time machine, go Well, welcome back to the 70s. It's, it's 1978. This is my high school graduation, and I have the band Jive Talkin' USA to play my prom. Let's do it. Are you ready?
When the feeling's gone, you can't go on this tragedy. When the morning cries, you don't know why it's hard to bear. With no one to love you, you're going nowhere. Ah, tragedy. When you lose control, you can't go on this tragedy. When the morning cries, you don't know why it's hard to bear. With no one beside you, you're going nowhere. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing tonight? Are we all Bee Gees fans out here? <laughs> now, what's the next song? <laughs> From that Saturday Night Fever movie. That's right. Hey, like Tom Brown says, we've been performing since the 50s, the late 50s. We were the, uh, what were we call a uh, Robin? What were we call last time? The Brothers Give. The Brothers Give. That's right, the Brothers Give. And then we got a little bit older, and then we call ourselves the Bee Gees. We are called Jive Talking USA out of Orlando, Florida. We're coming up next with another major hit. Here we go. next song would have been for those New Englanders. Babe, I'm going back 
to Massachusetts Something's telling me I must go home Gotta do the things I wanna do And the lights all went down in Massachusetts They brought me back to see my way to send a message to the folks out here? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that on the next song. Sure. What year did this come out of? Uh, 1968? 68. 68. All right. Just about a year over from Massachusetts. So here we go with, we've got a message for you. Message. 
Sure, sending a message to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we're going back to. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting this year, but anyway, we're going out to some, somewhere in '72. Yeah, early '70s, prior to the Saturday Night Fever. Hey, Mo, how you doing out there? Good. All right. How you look, Mo? I hope you like my Australian accent here, but uh, we're gonna continue on. Mo doing pretty well here, and uh, Robin, ladies and gentlemen, You're playing ready, Robin Gibb, playing Robin Gibb. Give it up for Carlos Roman. My Robin Gibb, and then of course to my right, playing Maurice Gibb, of course, is Sandy Picard. And our Sandy, Barry Gibb. Sandy, from Detroit. Our Barry Gibb, Mr. William Centron. You ready, Mo? Let's do it, baby. Thank you. 
folks, we're going to feature Robin Gibb one more time with this next major hit that we just uh, played uh, back in 66. Here we go. Which started the whole world laughing But I didn't see That the joke was on me Oh no I started to cry Which started the whole world laughing Oh, if I'd only see that the joke was on me. Started the whole world living. Oh, if I'd only see that the joke was on me. Started the whole world living. Oh, we might only see. Oh, yeah, that the joke was on me. Oh, no, that the joke was on me. greatest tunes. I mean, this happened to be the best tune of all time, yes? Yes, I agree. From every agree. song that we played. A lot of marriages, wedding songs right here. I mean, it beats in the event of something oh, happening other than that to one. me. <laughs> there is something I would like you all to see. <laughs> you ready, Mom? me in the pouring rain and the moment that you wonder Yo 
back there. All right. Can you hear us loud and clear? <laughs> the next song was the Bee Gees' first number one hit in the United States. Not the first hit in the U.S., but the first number one hit in the United States. <laughs> I can think of younger days when living for my life was everything a man could want to do. I could never see tomorrow. I was never told about the sorrow. from falling down How can you stop the sun from shining What makes the world go You still feel the breeze that rustles through the trees and misty memories of days gone by. We could never see tomorrow. No one said a word about the sorrow. How can you? How could you stop Kentucky rain from falling down? How can you stop the sun from shining? What makes the world go round? Hey, how can you make be 
This is Barry Gibb's favorite, favorite song of all time. And I gotta say, Barry, if you're out there, this one's for you. Smile, an everlasting smile. A smile can bring you near to me. Thank you. Don't ever let me find you now. That would bring a tear to me. This world has lost its glow. Let's start a brand new story now, my love. Right now, there'll be no other time, and I can show you how, my love. In everlasting words and dedicate them all to me. I don't believe in me. I'll 
Thank you so much, folks. Wow, goodness gracious. I feel like I'm in Madison Square Garden. I can't believe we're down to three songs already. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Wait. Time out, time out. This, Robin, this I, Robin, I thought we were going to be here till 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I guess not. Ain't I playing till 2 o'clock in the morning? Oh, no. <laughs> We got two more shows tomorrow. Okay, okay. All right. You ready, Mo? Another great tune coming up here. There we go. They great. You heard it. You heard it, right? Awesome, awesome. And they call Infinity. The Infinity Band. There we go. <laughs> wow. All right, what's the next song, folks? Oh, bingo. Somebody hit it right on the head, right? There. Wait, 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 time out, time out. Do we have time? Oh, well, we do have time, but we only have two more. Yeah. 
Said stay in the line. She hit the lot, or was it 600? <laughs> All right, let's do, let's, do let's do it. Let's do it. You're walking the dance on the dance aisles if you want. Till two o'clock in the morning? One more, one more. You guys want one more? One more? All right. Well, in order for, you, for us to do this one song, you guys need to be dancing. Okay? So I'm telling you, you should be dancing.
What you doing in your back of back? Hey, what you doing in your back of back? Oh, you should be dancing. What you doing in your back to back? Hey, what you doing in your back to back? Oh, you should be dancing, yeah. Dancing, yeah. What you doing in your back to back? Get your back up off the wall. What you doing in your back to back? Oh, you should be dancing. Graceland Elvis Presley Enterprises created the ultimate Elvis competition. They decided to take the bull by the horns and be in control of the best representation of Elvis and give that performer their stamp of approval. 
2007, they started having competitions all across the world judged by people who knew what they were looking at. And each of those contests in Japan, South America, all across the United States and Canada, they would send their winner to Elvis Week to compete. It started in 2007, 2008. In 2009, the Tupelo Elvis Festival was won by a gentleman. And a few months later, he went to Memphis and he won it all. In 2009, the man you're about to see represented both Tupelo and the world because he's an ultimate. If you've seen him, I don't need to say anything else. If you haven't seen him, I still don't have to say anything else except get ready for Bill Cherry.
Left you could drive in the city Working for the man every night and day And I never lost one minute of sleep And worried about the way things might have been Big wheel keep on turning I'll never keep on burning If you go down to the river, I bet you're gonna find some people who live. You don't have to worry, all you got no money. People on the river are happy to give myself a big wheel, keep on turning. Tell me I was born 
Uh, this next song, ladies and gentlemen, is a, is a medley of a couple old little goodies. I hope you like it. It goes like this. If you love me, be sure. You love me, tell me. Put a chain around my neck. Lead me anywhere. Hold on to me. Be sure. This, uh, 
This next song uh, we'd like to do for you was originally recorded by Libby Newton John, and it's called If You Love Me, Let Me Alone. If You Don't, Then Move It. Hit it, baby. <laughs> I said, let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Make it right. Let me take you to that wonderland. I hold it, you can't share. All I ask you is let me be there. Watching you grow and going through the changes of your life. And that's how I know. Always want to be there whenever you feel you need a friend to lean on. Here I am. Whenever you call, you know I'll be there. I said, let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Let me right. Let me take you to that wonderland and a home that you can share. All I ask you is let me be there. Let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me be there. All I ask you is let me be there. I said, let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Make it right. Let me take you to that wonderland. I wonder if you can share. All I ask you, let me be there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Woo. I think some of you folks are making some quilts out there with this thing. How y'all doing back there? You doing all right? Don't be afraid to come up here, because I can't come to you. If you can make your way, you know. So. Uh, how do you see that? Honey? I can't even see it. It's right in front of me. Good thing it wasn't a snake. Go ahead and give me that intro. Does anybody know what this song is?
Shepherdsville, how y'all doing? I take the rest of you for somewhere else. How about this? Hello, Kentucky, how are you? Anybody here from Ohio? Who's left behind? Colorado, Tennessee, anybody from St. Louis? Tupelo, anybody from Tupelo? No, no. Anybody from Tupelo? Only two, three, three. <laughs> was you, was you, New York, New York, wow. Was you in Madison Square Garden a couple years back? No. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. This song, ladies and gentlemen, is, is off of the uh, Raise on Rock for Old Time's Sake from 1973. It's got a real, real groovy beat to it. I hope you like it. And uh, it goes like this. Hit it, please. Well, the call was gone, and uh, you were gone, and I almost lost my mind. If you don't come back, if you don't come back, yeah, if you don't come back today, if you don't come back today, you can call up the 
Cliff Ride on guitar, wouldn't you? so far. What do you think of this suit? you like it? <laughs> you, might, you might say there's a tiger in my suit. Yeah. I mean, all my suit. Well, hello there. Mine's been a long Thank you, 
very much. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see everybody. Sing the bass over there for us. You may have seen him as Frank Sinatra the other day. We won't tell him about him. He's JD Summers right now. Okay. Let's do this. It's impossible <laughs> It's just impossible No, it's okay Sorry about that, I get confused yeah. Wait a second, let me get another drink of Wawa before we do this I'm going to strip my gears on it got to have some, you know Much more than you'll ever know. 
your star I'm so hurt Because I still love you so Fantastic job for you. Not good, Jeff. They've been working hard. I'm going to introduce them to you. Only by first name. <laughs> That's it, play it. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful girls over here doing the singing, doing a fantastic job. If you would, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Michaela. <laughs> Michaela McDowell, that's, that's the name. I'm getting good at it. <laughs> Next to her, ladies and gentlemen, doing the high voice singing. We'll get the voice of the angel. I kind of got a sneaky suspicion she's the devil. No, I'm just kidding. She does a, <laughs> she does a beautiful job, ladies and gentlemen. She's fantastic. If you would, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Casey Hutchinson. <laughs> On guitar, ladies and gentlemen, doing a fantastic job. This has been a friend of mine for many years. Multi-talented, he does Johnny Cash, he does James Burton, he does Elvis, and whatever else is under his hat, I don't know. But he does a fantastic job, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for Cliff Wright. <laughs> On the drums, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all I can say is about this guy is that he really knows how to beat it. Give it up for Daniel. Right. Next to him, ladies and gentlemen, on bass guitar, doing a fantastic job. You may recognize him as Elvis, or, you know, Roy Orbison, or little, Jim, little Jimmy Dickens. Look, son, just take a cold tater and wait. No, no he does a fantastic job, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if you would, please give it up for Radney, would you? Yeah. Going back up there, ladies and gentlemen, on the double stack of keys, doing a fantastic job. You know him as Frank Sinatra, you know him as J.D. Sumner. I don't know who else he does, but he does a fantastic job. He's a great keyboard player, a horn zone, what the hell you got going on? But anyway, he does a great job. Please, please get up for Chris up there, would you? And down below him, but not in that level, just sitting below him, ladies and gentlemen, doing a fantastic job. Unfortunately, I can't remember his name. What is your name? Uh, Thomas. I think he's spinning the mic, say it again. Thomas. Hey. Did you get that? Thomas. Who said that? Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, the Lord. other Thomas. I'm looking up, up for the voice that is next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my Charlie Hodge. He, he, he's been with me for many years, always supported. He was a judge when I won the ultimate. And uh, is a good friend of mine, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for Tom Brown, would you?
Also, some of the folks behind the scenes. Alex Mitchell's back there. Give it up for Alex. He's back there. Yeah. Who else we got back there? David Allen. David Allen, is he back there? Jeff Lewis. Jeff Lewis is back there. They're all hiding back there, but they're here. They're here. They can hear you. Give it up for all of them back there. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out, and I hope you've enjoyed the shows today. And uh, have you? We, uh, we love performing for you, and hopefully we've done some songs that you like to hear. And uh, this is the last song of the evening. I mean, last show of the evening, right? And the last song. And the last song. It's okay. There's more to come. And, uh, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you've enjoyed everything. It's been a pleasure performing for you. And uh, we would like to thank uh, 49th Street Productions, Cody Dinloff, uh, for, for bringing us here. When I first met him, he was this tall. He's, he's, he's a little bit taller. No, no he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good kid. He's a great young man, you know. It's, it's funny. Like he, he, you come to see the shows that I perform at, and I'm working for him. But I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I think I got the easier part. You know, just coming up here, and, you know, it's a lot to put a show together. And, uh, you know, guys on the spotlights and everybody here, you know, please, once again, give everyone a big hand. Culliford! Michael Culver on sound. Where's that boy at? Is he out there? Michael's fixing to have a new addition to his family. Give it up for him, would you? <laughs> there he is, there he is. What I'd like to say to you, though, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, thank you for continuing the love and devotion to Elvis Presley. There was only one king of rock and roll, that's Elvis Presley. And please, give it up for him. Give it up for yourselves, and thank you for being here. I've said it many times, but for those of you who have never seen us before, I'd just like to, to say that, you know, uh, none of us by any means think that we're Elvis Presley. We know we're not. Uh, we're fans just like you, and uh, we love singing the music and putting on these funny suits. Some's funny, mine's kind of cool, but I'm <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. God bless you to meet you again. Adios. <laughs> God bless you. We love you.
Bill Cherry. All right. We invite you to come back tomorrow afternoon. We are going country tomorrow afternoon. Lots of great performers on stage. And you'll be seeing tributes to Loretta Lynn and Ronnie Millsap and Garth Brooks and Shania. Yes, and Conway. Oh, hello, darling. Tomorrow. Come back and join us tomorrow night, too, because we're going to blow it out and blow the roof off. Tomorrow night, we got more Elvis for you. We got country music. Visit etafestivals.com for details and grab a seat and come back and see us tomorrow. On the way home tonight, listen to Elvis Presley. God bless, good night, and the sun never sets on a legend, right? Right. Good night. And if you'd like to have your photo with the artists you saw tonight, we will have a photo opportunity right over there. Jive Talking USA and Bill Cherry. Go grab a photo. Ladies and gentlemen, good night.